Los Internetos, Sneaker Fiends, Happy New Year, Internets, what's good? It's your boy, Dallas Penn, it's Sneaker Fiends Unite, alright? I owe a few of you, a few of you asked me, DP, where's your top 10 for 2012, where's your top, you know, 5, top 20, blah, 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 you know, 2012. What a year 2012 was for sneakers. I mean, damn, the Galaxy Quest, I'm still on that. All right, I'm still on that. Still haven't gotten my shoes yet. And just all the Jordan Retros that dropped this year, um, all the great innovative Nike product that came out, Adidas, uh, going back to the classics, um, you know, that Rod Laver soloist is Firevax. All right, Reebok held it down. Reebok held it down with all kinds of classics. Plus the pump retros. Reebok definitely, definitely made some inroads too with those Iverson retros. All right, so I mean, there was just so many great, great shoes that dropped in 2012. Um, I'm not even gonna give you a list because I feel like I just can't name them all. I love everything. But above all, there was one shoe in 2012 that I rocked the most. And uh, I love them so much. I love their design. I love their function. I love their fit, their feel, their flavor. All right. This was the dopest, the illest, the, the freshest shoe to drop in 2012. Of course, it's my opinion, but you know what? Fuck it. My fucking opinion. All right? Okay, what What the hell is this big box? Let me just take the shoe out and stop playing around. My shoe of 2012. The Air Jordan. 2012 year of drag. All right, I mean, just beautiful colors, just incredible details. Love that wingtip detail right there. Um, if you if you don't own a pair of hard bottom shoes, you can't really appreciate uh, a wingtip on a Jordan shoe. Just the idea of of wings and flying. Man, mad double entendre going on. If you if you fuck with double entendre. Alright? But uh, just a beautiful shoe. I love this sneaker. Love it so much that this is actually my third pair right here. And um <laughs> truth be told I actually bought them in 13 and I wear a 12 uh, hard body so I mean be on the lookout. Um, for me posting these on my site. Maybe we could do a swap or something. You know, if you were a 13, you got something out of you a 12, all right? So, um, but this is my shoe for 2012. The Air Jordan 2012 Year of the Dragon. All right, did you sleep on this? If you did, they are in outlets now, so get up on them before they're all gone. You, you will be sorry. I feel like in the year 2020, that's when you realize that, yo, that Air Jordan 2012, you know, with all those insoles I could swap out and, you know, the inner booty that I could, you know, change out. I could go with that low booty or I could get fresh and go with the high inner booty, you know? Mm. You know? <clears throat> I haven't used any white laces yet on the shoe. I just, uh, you know, it hasn't, uh, they don't need it. That yellow, that yellow lace is just mad thorough. You know, whether it's on the, uh, you know, whether it's on the mid, the three quarter booty, or it's on the high booty, the yellow lace is the pop, pop life. Everybody wants a thrill, it's the pop life. All right, so I'm mean, I fucked with the, um, the yellow lace, and I fucked with the high booty, too. I actually, I've actually rocked it with the high booty more often this year than I have with this uh, three-quarter joint, but still, this, this, this is my shoe. 
I fucks with this shoe. Real talk. Air Jordan 2012, Year of the Dragon. The illest shoe for 2012. Internet, go to iTunes and search Sneaker Fiends Unite. It's a podcast powered by SneakerTube.tv. Premium Pete and I talk shit about sneakers, streetwear, the lifestyle, the culture of rock and kicks. Find us on iTunes. It's Sneaker Fiends Unite.